I found this nice board at Hobby Lobby in the 75% off. I believe it was originally $30 minus 75% is what I paid. I get a lot of my um, boards in that section and I'm going to paint this in Higgins Lake and allow it to dry. Also at Hobby Lobby I found this table runner. It's in the Easter seasonal section. It was $4.99 with 50% off. Last year's runner had eggs on it, and this one has these really cute bunnies. Um, there's like three different ones that are doing different things, hopping, sitting, um, really cute. So my board is fully dry, and I'm going to take my runner, and I'm going to lay it across my board and just figure out how I can get as many bunnies on there as possible. And I'm going to be using our Redesign by Prima chalk paste. You can get this at chalkatafancy.com but you can also use joint compound. This is a little smoother and dries a little quicker, but the joint compound will work, especially if you're gonna do multiple projects, because once I'm done with this, I can wash. I usually rinse out my runner with a hose, a garden hose, and throw it in the wash, and it can be reused. So you could do multiple of these, and I wanna say that one of the chalk paste containers did this project. So once I got the, the paste all over the top of my lace, I'm gonna pull it back. One of the tips is you don't wanna keep packing it on, you just wanna get it on and then pull off your lace. I went back and put the white around the trim again. It was just easier to go back and do this than try to avoid it with the Higgins Lake. And I'm not worrying about full coverage. You can still kinda of see that Higgins Lake through the trim. Once my paste dried, I went back with my lace and I'm going to fill in the areas that I couldn't um, hit the first time. And when this dries, you're really not going to be able to tell that I stopped and started it. And then I'm going to allow that to dry. Now this is a very faint image, and so I decided to go back with the Higgins Lake just in the bunnies. I'm not doing full coverage, I'm just kind of outlining them and dry brushing in the center just so that they pop out a little bit more than they did. And once you're done with this process, you can coat this with one hour enamel clear or our varnish or even our salve as a top coat. I think this came out really pretty. I'm very happy with it. You could put handles on this as a tray. You could hang it on the wall, or you can even put it up on a mantle. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much.